What's going on everybody? We have the new studio set up. We've got the new surprise I've been kind of hinting at as we've been going through the videos this year. So I want to talk more about that, but we'll go over the whole setup, show you what I got to get better this winter. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. We're here, we're in the golf studio. So we're gonna give you a complete tour here. I wanna show you it all and give you an idea of what tools I'm using to set up my space and hopefully help you understand there's some great new things that have come to the US that are available now that make this setup a lot more affordable and very, very easy to set up and take down if necessary, which I think is very helpful for a lot of people. So. Everything that I mention in here, I'm going to link down below. Make sure you check that out. And as always, if I have any discounts, I will link that down below or any sales or anything like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alexa, turn on Golf Studio. All right, so the first thing obviously is what am I using for a launch wire? I'm gonna start with this stuff because you've heard me mention it before. Some of my staples for getting better and also for doing lessons. So FlightScope Mevo Plus, love it. New updates with fusion tracking. Also with the club data, which I will be getting. Obviously that works for me as a professional. Um, we're putting it on an iPad. You know, I just am a huge fan of the iPad. Yeah, are you sacrificing a little bit in the graphics department when you play E6? A little bit, but to have just a cleaner setup, so much easier to use. And I use a lot of awesome golf anyway, and I think they do a great job with their iOS app as well. So that's something I use. Um, right now we are using an Apple TV to put it on the TV. I'll talk a little bit more about projection coming up here in a little bit, what's gonna go on with that uh, as we go. So got that live view camera. I always talk about that. I use these so much. I think you have to use some sort of video feedback if you're practicing. So that's something that I think is really, really critical. Then we've got the whiteboard. I always like to write my notes up there, things that I need to know, such as swing speed. I also make plans for people on here. So something that might be interesting for you. Uh, I use it for all the students that come in here, but uh, yeah, you know, that's just uh, something that I like to use and take notes of things that I kind of remember. I like to write things down. It helps me remember stuff. Got all the pictures. These are actually pictures that I have, I'll make sure I'm not lying, other than this poster. And then obviously the flags that we've played at, these are pictures I've all taken. So uh, you can actually get these, these are prints. I'll link that down below if you wanna check out some golf pictures. So over here, bag stands, we've got our setup. We've got awards, top 50, stuff like that, that I don't know what to do with, so it's there. And we've got our, our little bits of stuff here. but. Let's get into the stuff that everybody's gonna to wanna to know about, which is the setup. So we've got this enclosure. This is a beautiful enclosure from 24-7 Golf. Now, 24-7 Golf was an Australian company. So they were dealing in Australia exclusively, and now they are coming to the United States. They're actually setting up shop here. And so I was very excited about that because one of the big things about their design is it's very, very affordable, but it is very, very good. I'm very impressed with the setup. So I want to talk a little bit more about it. So this whole setup is designed for if you have a single car garage, you could put this in and then be able to park your car in here. You know, so if you're on the back wall and then you could pull it out and then you would just have to set your mat up and all your stuff. But a very, very cool thought that they put into it to be able to have you have it in your garage. I thought that was really a cool thing, but very, very simple design. You have just posts that go around. Now there are metal posts that just attach. We did this. It took us about 50 minutes to put it all up. Now with that, we did not see the directions. That's just me being a man and not paying attention. I was just watching the video and I said, oh, I got it. But there are directions. Having those directions, and now that I've done it, you could easily have this thing up in less than 30 minutes, and you can take it down in 10. It's very, very easy. What I also like is you have the sides, the roof, 
this side and there's actually a screen attached on the back side it's all one piece and you just kind of get it over the the enclosure once you have the frame up you velcro it in place and then you are good to go the other thing that i did now this is an optional add-on but i did it they have an option to buy a second screen so what i did is i bought the second screen put that on and then said, hey, let's get that second screen where it won't wear out the back one. Now that is an additional thing, but I think that's a good idea as you're going through. That way, when the screen goes bad, which eventually they do, they always do, you just have to replace this. And it's very, very easy to change out. The other things that I like about this enclosure, this isn't the biggest space. So safety is priority number one. If you watch videos on the internet with people, I'm sure you see videos where people get hit and stuff like that. That is something I obviously do not want to have happen. And so your areas that you're worried about are anywhere on these sides and the top, okay? And then the bottom as well, which if people hit a roller or something like that. What we're gonna do is check out, they have these little pads that they have included. It's part of the enclosure. You stick these on and now you cannot get to the metal piping because it's padded. That is huge. The top has the pads as well. And then the bottom, they actually have it with no bar here. The bar actually sits behind about 18 inches or so. It's a behind. And so then that's not even in play as you're going through. So I think that's just great design. I feel very comfortable having people in here to hit as we go. On the back side, what's really cool too is they design it. The whole cage is designed. This screen is actually out from where the cage sits. So you can put it on the back side of the wall and you just push it straight up against the wall. You don't have to worry about your spacing. They've already thought of that as you go through. So really, really cool design. The one thing I said I would talk about is projector. I don't have one of those yet because I'm gonna upgrade to fit the new screen. Just kind of upgrade and get it to where it's gonna be really, really nice since we have the new nice enclosure. There are a couple options that you can do with it. They do leave this bar open where you could get a short throw and hang the projector there. Now, I am not going to do that because if it was just me hitting, I would do it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually hang it from the ceiling, extender bar down, and then hang it right above where the golf ball is. Uh, we're gonna do that. And then I'll work on if there's any interference or things by just getting the caging that goes around it. So that's, the setup that we have here. And I love it, it's super nice. One of my favorite parts about it is when you hit a ball, and you've seen it in videos, you hit a ball, that ball stays right there. It doesn't go anywhere, which again, you've seen, and I've seen in other enclosures, I've seen in my enclosures in the past, you know, you can get that ball rebounding back. It's And not in a, even a dangerous way, but it's just annoying when that thing comes back and you got to go round them up in the back and all that stuff. So that can be a little bit annoying as you're going through. Mats and everything, again, 24-7 golf, they are having that be part of their solution. If you go to their site, which again, I'm going to link it down below, and they're giving a $50 coupon off of the enclosures for anybody that is watching this video. So check that out down below as well. But one of the things that they're trying to do is give you a whole setup that is ready to go, right? You, hey, this is what you need to be able to play. Instead, in the past, it's like, all right, I've got to get a mat. Now I've got to go get this. I got to get a projector. Now I've got to get an enclosure. I got to get screens. I've got to get all this stuff. You can even get the launch monitors from them. It's all stuff that they're trying to be all in one and they do have different sizes. This is the shortest, smallest version. They go bigger and you can even get it wider and actually enclose your whole hitting area, which isn't a bad idea if you're worried about that, uh, to be able to keep the containment of all shots as you're going. So again, it's gonna depend on your space. But this is the new spot. This is the new lab for the winter. Excited to show this and uh, be able to continue making videos in this awesome setup. 24-7 Golf, I'm glad that you are here in America doing your business because this is awesome, awesome stuff. Make sure you go check them out for your enclosure needs. Very, very, very inexpensive as well compared to what you see out there on the market. And not only is it inexpensive, but it is really, really good. That's the key. You don't want to be paying for a new one in just another year or two. So if you have any questions about it, please 
leave a comment down below. If you have any comments or you have any ideas that you need covered for your golf swing as we're hitting into this beautiful enclosure, make sure you also comment that down below and also click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Check out the links below and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.